from that now to what is really a bizarre story. How far would you go to get out of work? Well, a top EPA official will be sentenced today for bilking the government out of nearly $1 million by claiming that he worked undercover for the CIA. NBC National Investigative Correspondent Michael Isakoff has details on that. His name is Beal, John Beal, a self-styled CIA secret agent with a license to steal. Mr. Chairman, I respectfully decline to answer that question on the basis of my Fifth Amendment privilege. Beal, the highest paid official at the EPA and a top expert on climate change, did absolutely no work for years, according to court documents, claiming he was serving as an undercover spy for the CIA. Mr. Beal never worked for the CIA, and indeed they had no record of him even being on the premises. NBC News has obtained Beal's internal emails, revealing how he pulled off his charade. I am at Langley this morning, he writes in this one, pretending to be at CIA headquarters. In another, I'm in Pakistan. Hope to be back for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And what was Beale really doing when he wrote these emails? He said he was riding his bicycle, he was reading books, and working around his house. Beale, who has pled guilty, says through his lawyer he's seeing a therapist about his need to fabricate grandiose narratives. Beale also received hundreds of thousands of dollars in bonuses, billed taxpayers for first-class air tickets, and claimed falsely that he was suffering from malaria, that he got in Vietnam, where he'd never been, so he could get a handicapped parking space costing $8,000. Members of Congress are now demanding to know why EPA officials, including Gina McCarthy, Beale's immediate boss, didn't challenge his cover stories. An EPA spokeswoman claims McCarthy discovered Beale's fraud and has imposed new controls. Beale is due to be sentenced 